Hello everyone, today we're back with another trail ride video and this time we're running Steelbender. The trail is close, just a few miles outside of town. The trail is rated a 6 out of 10. There's two versions of this trail, the loop route and the flat pass route. In this video, we're doing the loop route. Total time on the trail was about 4 hours. This included time to stop for a bit to help someone that had lost their party, but we still made pretty good time while underway. Near the start, the trail weaves its way across the creek three times. The recent precipitation caused the trail to be washed out quite a bit. This was one of the worst that we had to navigate. After spending the past two trail days around Arth's Rim north of town, the scenery that Steelbender provides is a welcome change. The trail takes you around Mill Creek Canyon. An early portion of the trail goes around the canyon's wilderness study area and must be avoided. The trail gets a bit more difficult here, featuring many challenging ledges. Our Fun Tracks guidebook called these out, but we never really knew what to expect until we saw it for ourselves. We engaged the lockers on a majority of these. Crawling these ledges was a lot of fun, especially as I had become much more comfortable on the rocks over the past week. They seemed never ending, but I was grinning as we climbed each ledge.
There was near an obstacle called the wall that we met up with a couple in their jeep. They were having some trouble following the trail, so we offered to have them join us. Their jeep was new to them, so while it was very capable, they were understandably a little nervous in some spots. We're now on the northeast side of the trail, which is a bit easier going than earlier sections. The sun came out and said hello for a bit and the day was turning out to be a great one. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you can be notified when we post new content. After heading south, we turned west again and back through the canyon on the same trail we came in on. And that's Steelbender. I hope you enjoyed following along and when you come out to Moab, take a day to check it out. I think if you wanted to make a full day of it, you could pair up Steelbender with another nearby trail like Fins and Things or Hell's Revenge. We were off the trail early enough to stop for lunch at one of our favorite places, Susie's Branding Iron. If you're in Moab, make it a point to have a meal here. I skip whatever the special is and order the Navajo Taco. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Thanks again for coming along. We have just one more trail day in Moab and we're headed to Hell's Revenge. Then it's back home for some rest and some upgrades already planned for the Wrangler.